hi you guys welcome back to plot lines and lip lines today i am really excited to talk about this author i am just doing my everyday makeup this is the look i just finished it and when i was thinking about everyday makeup I thought who is my like everyday author so to speak what author can I turn to that I'm never let down by her books they always give me the same satisfaction no matter how many times I reread them and trust me like if I tell you how many times I've read these books or turn to them when I'm in a book hole or even when my to be read list is huge but it's like sometimes I just want to go back to my comfort zone I've read her books a lot so who's that author for you who do you continually follow or reread the books or listen to the audiobooks and I know it's a really hard question so I'm gonna let you think about it for a few minutes while I go through and walk you through this makeup look and um, here is a little hint. I'm going to cover her name. I'm curious if you guys know who the author is. I really hope you do because if you don't, we've got to get you up to speed. I, I, I'm going to take the time to color correct. Um, my circles tend to do really good, like concealing them when I put a little bit of yellow on. So I'm going to do that now. And if you watched my first video, I mentioned this spatula I got it in a kit and it's a thing that they use in like Korean beauty I honestly thought it was a gimmick and something ridiculous I only just used it once because I got it free in a kit it's amazing you use so much less product um I forgot my brush but you use so much less product with it so in a way you're saving money and I just feel like it really lays down the makeup so much smoother um, let me know if you guys have ever tried it. I don't know if it was just my cuckoo kachu moment, um, and it's just me, um, but so far it's been really amazing. I'm gonna go in next with this new Laura Mercier concealer. You guys, I have tried so many concealers because I feel like they always cake up and, um, you always get it settling into your lines, especially if you have drier skin. This one, though, not only is the color match perfect, it goes on really thin, um, and it dries down like, I don't want to say it dries down powdery because that's going to scare some of you guys. It just kind of dries down velvety smooth. It doesn't stay sticky and it doesn't feel like I have anything on my under eyes, which is the best. Because I know I just started this channel and you're kind of getting to learn what type of books that I like to read and what type of makeup I like to use. I'm just going to use this and splat it all over. Um, but I don't like to feel like I have foundation on my face. I just can't stand that feeling. I don't know if I would go totally insane and have to probably be in a straight jacket if I had to wear full coverage foundation. I just hate that feeling, especially because I live in places where during the summertime it is sweltering and I don't want to feel like my mask is dripping. Okay, I've got a little more with this problem eye, which I've told you it's like the villain in my book and not like a dark romance villain. It's just a bad villain. This eye is always a problem. Back to books. Did you guys think of an author? Because I know I did right away and it's not shocking to me. Um, my author that I can always read her books and I've reread them so many times I can't even tell you. It's T.L. Swan. And I pray that you guys have heard of her and you know her books because if you haven't I feel like gutted for you that you've been left out. So I went to try to get the books of hers <laughs> that I have and I don't know, well I do know what's happened. I could only find one. Uh, the problem is my bookshelf is low and my daughter grabs everything off of it. She takes it and runs and she literally scatters it all over the house. She loves to hide things in my closet. I was trying to look for my books and I just realized so many are missing and I have a feeling that they've gone down the rabbit hole and I'm not going to find them. Um, so I found this book by T.L. Swan. Um, this is one of her newer series out. The first book I ever read by her, that is always in my head my favorite book of hers. Um, it's hard to pick one. I feel like if I had to only pick three books from hers that I could reread again, it would be the Stanton series. Um, I love the Italian and Ferrara. Um, it's so hard because then I think of Joshua's brothers and their books. But I'm going to mostly mention the Stanton series today because that was her first book and it's also the first book of hers I read that just truly started a long love addiction with her. I'm going to do my foundation and since I mentioned I like really light foundations, I splurged on this. I had a coupon at Macy's. Um, it is amazing. If you ever get a coupon at Macy's, I would try it. So CoverGirl came out with a dupe. I have tried it and I wanted to love it so so much it's just not a dupe. So I'm gonna go in and use this today as you can see I'm using up the bottle I'm trying to use it sparingly until I get another coupon. 
um, it's kind of scary looking like a sci-fi novel because when you pump it out it's actually foundation that is suspended in like water so it's insanely moisturizing and my skin is very dry as I have mentioned before so if you have oily skin I honestly don't know how this would work for you but it's so light um, it just feels like nothing's on my face but at the same time it's being moisturized um, so back to TL Swan I remember the first time I read her Stanton book and I feel like I had just got my Kindle then and I was just delving into reading like more up the ante romance books as an adult. I'm just going in with my Givenchy powder. This is worth every penny. I told you guys it's like pixie dust. There's magic in here. I use it to set my under eyes but I also use it all over my face. It just like it sets down everything and I was never a believer in like all these like makeup setting sprays and powder. I mean sometimes things are just that they're just trying to sell you more but this especially if you're someone that has aging eyes um, just starting to or it's already developed it really helps that makeup stay um, less settled in your eyes. I'm trying to show you and I have very dry skin so powders usually cake up but this is worth every penny. So the book opens up with Natasha, our main character, and she is giving her first time away to someone. And it's not just someone. As that story develops, you're going to be shocked and just try to keep your personal views out of it um, and just keep reading. They have a really um, interesting and heartbreaking and challenging relationship. So after that first chapter, I think it's the first three chapters, the book jumps ahead a few years and you see that Natasha, she works as it's like a, a, I think a sexual therapist. Um, she has her life and it's kind of like stayed mainstream, but the guy, Joshua Stanton, his life has exploded. He's become like a tech billionaire and he ends up going back to Australia. He's never gotten over Natasha and she's never gotten over him and it kind of starts out where he, it's not like he stalks her, but he drives by her apartment and um, that's where things like they slowly start to kindle to a point where they're like, they're forced to be together at a wedding and they realize that the chemistry is still there and it has not died or faded. It's actually gotten like more developed into like a sickness where it's like they, they can't stay away from each other, but because of a secret, which I don't want to reveal, you find it out very early on, they, they have to stay away from each other. I had to pause the video quickly. I don't know if I have any moms out there who are trying to do that um, like nap time slash sleep training where you kind of like, they're gonna cry because you're not in the room with them, but you have to tough it out mentally. And every now and then you just go to the door, you show them your face, you let them know you're there and open it. So I just did that young, but it is hard when you can hear her shouting for you and you're supposed to let them like evolve and grow up and know that, hey, it's safe to be in your room alone. I'm trying to make these videos um, faster because I realize 30 minutes is a long time for anyone to focus on a book review and a makeup video. I'm going in with the Chanel palette and I realize I'm showing you guys kind of expensive makeup. Um, that's not always what I use. I splurged on this when I was in um, Paris and it was less expensive there. It's very, very minimal in the sense that it's not scary. It's easy to use. You can slowly build up the pigments. So if you're not used to makeup um, and you want to splurge on something, this palette is great. I loved it so much that they had a light version and a dark version. I even bought the darker version. I'm going to dip into this palette, um, this color right here, and use it on my lids. So back to the Stanton series. If you like a really, really strong alpha male, and I feel like this was new into my Kindle journey, so reading Joshua's character, I really hadn't come across too many books. Um, I was not in my dark romance book era, an era, and this book is not a dark romance. He's just a very, like, bossy um, guy who knows what he wants and he can't have it. So as you can imagine, that is going to make him more cranky and angsty, and it comes out. So in book one, you see their struggles. Um, to tell you, there was a lot of parts in book one and I wasn't used to reading, you know, a story that had a character like that type of male where you really get mad at him a lot. And it's sometimes I'm like, leave him and move on. But secretly, you know, you want them to be together. Book one, I think it's a four book series. It ends where you think they're finally gonna be together and something happens, it's devastating. Um, and in a way it's their fault and you can see where in book two they're now struggling with how do we cope with this how do we stay apart um, and there's so much that goes on in this series um, where Joshua he kind of rebels because he can't have what he wants 
he, a tech billionaire who lives in Silicon Valley and they go to parties and they do things they shouldn't and he's really hurt um, emotionally and he does something that's almost like a cry for help and it works because it brings her from Australia there and I don't want to ruin the story but I mean there's so many curveballs it's like they finally get together then they can't it constantly kept me on my toes especially in the third and last book because something crazy happens Joshua has an ex-girlfriend she's not even an ex-girlfriend she's like an employee and Natasha knows right away that this girl is out for her man and what happens and what goes down it was a really like good like if you were watching a fight like a side punch I don't know the fighting words it was just a good shocker and I had no idea where the book was going and it gets tied up in this really good bow um, and like I said, it was the first story. Oh, by the way, I'm dipping into these two colors. Um, I forget to tell you guys this because this is just kind of like my everyday safe makeup when I have a little bit more time to put it on. Um, I love these kind of like sunset palettes. Um, so the book ties up and I feel like if you know TL Swan books, you're going to get like the ending that you want. It might not have developed the way that you wanted it to, but you're never going to be disappointed. Um, so starting from that series, it just kind of spiraled and I started reading all her books. And now I feel like I'm waiting like on the edge of the cliff with everyone else until her next book comes out and we can all jump off it and just start reading and diving into these characters together. And I've been following her. I'm jumping into this highlighter color. This is an eyeshadow and um, blush palette. You can really use this as a bronzer, as a sculptor. That's why I feel like I love it so much because it's really a one and done um, palette. So reading that first book of hers, I feel like it's always a book that I can, you know, go back and read and I just feel like I get that same emotional connection with the characters. But also since I've continued to follow her career, I feel like I've seen her writing develop, but also stay true to herself. I'm jumping in with this Patrick Ta palette. It's got a little creamy contour in bronze. I'm not going to bother contouring today, but I am going to try to bring some life back to my pale skin. Um, back to TL Swan. Um, if you guys don't know, besides just being a fantastic author, I've never met her personally. But as you guys know, I am an, an author myself. And TL Swan has a group on her Facebook page that where it's like a really safe community. Um, if you're a new author there, you can go there and ask questions. You get advice from other authors about how they've done stuff, but also what was so shocking to me, because she's this huge author, and the bigger authors get, I feel like they start to get tight-lipped um, and protect their own um, identity and books and all that, and they don't want to share their success. I've never come across an author that has taken the time to reply to comments to give her advice and to help other authors and I just feel like like I've not met another author who is such a good human like that and I wish there was more out there and I feel like you always have to see the glass half full you always have to keep pushing I hope one day I'm in a spot like that where I can try to give my advice to people and tell you hey I tried this when I was writing my books and it did not work out at all I wouldn't advise it but being a new author myself to know that I have a safe community that I can turn to and ask questions and they're not going to try to stab me in the back or be malicious that is just like like I can't even find the words and while I digress from my, my secret love of this author, I'm going to go in with some Charlotte Tilbury highlight. I'm going to use my finger and just tap some on, and then I'll use a brush. So, um, also speaking, and it's fun because I feel like I started following this author. I started with her first book, and then I got to go through the whole series. It certainly wasn't a new release. She had been out there. But seeing, like, her successes, I just feel like she needs to know that she's got so many... Sorry, this cold... Just won't get out of my lungs. She has so many fans on the sideline that she has helped and we're cheering for her and I see it on that Facebook page and it's just it's a rare time in your life when you meet another human whether that's in person or virtually that's honest and good and willing to help you and you also have to have your guard up because you don't know in the beginning if that advice you're getting is you know malicious to watch you fall. It's such a rare thing and I feel like knowing the person behind the books is so genuinely kind-hearted and willing to take the time to help give advice and to comment when she can. I just, it's just priceless. I'm going to try to finish this look up fast. I've got two more Patrick Ta blushes. This looks scary. It actually goes on really faint. So I think I'm going to dip into this today. 
the color. It's called Oh She's Different. And if you guys want, I can start swatching these things for you on the side. I'm still trying to like figure, figure out how much is too much makeup that is turning you guys off or for those people who want to see the makeup, am I not, like am I talking too much book stuff for you? I don't know. But at the same time, I had to get ready today and being able to multitask and wax poetic about an author I love. This is fun and I feel like sometimes you gotta do something that's fun and a little silly just to smile. Speaking of TL Swan, because obviously I follow her on the different social media accounts, um, right now I'm just blending some of that blush in. Um, she has just, and I hope that I'm getting all the lingo right, I'm probably not, but she's just started her own publishing company um, that's partnered up with another big um, publisher. And when you read their uh, motto, they say that they want to help authors obviously sell their books but also they want to make sure the authors are still getting the rights to their books long story short like i've just told you how she gives advice to her authors she wants to make sure with her publishing company that the authors are being protected and not just being leached on by publishers need i say more or tell you how much more of an amazing person she is and this is just from me talking little bits not even talking with her just replying to comments in her comments she's replied to me in um, a virtual landscape I honestly I have to meet her one day she lives in Australia she's coming to the book conference it's like readers meet Denver and like I wish I could go but the timing was just not right for me oh, but I know one day it's gonna happen one day I'm gonna meet her I don't know what I'm gonna say because I'm very much an introvert and um, the idea of going to a conference I'm gonna use this as <clears throat> my eyeliner one the idea of going to a conference um, alone because I don't feel like I have like bookish friends or someone that shares that love for me here. My husband would go with me <clears throat> but I feel like you know maybe I will drag him to it but I feel like that's a community where you really want to go with girlfriends. Um, I know one day I'll meet her and hopefully I'll be brave enough to speak more of my feelings to her and just let her know and that just kind of brings me on to a side note. Um, I feel like we should all go out there in the world and just compliment people more. Sometimes like I see people passing by me on the street and I really like something about them whether it's you know their hair or their skin looks flawless or they're wearing something nice but I'm so darn shy. You know sometimes you get in your head but I'm trying to get out of my bubble and maybe this is helping me like baby steps like actually talking more um, but I'm going to try to force myself where to speak more of my mind like if I see something I like I'm going to start saying it and you know what's funny is I feel like when I'm in the safety of my own home and with my husband <clears throat> I always can talk so freely and he tells me you know it's like non-stop comments but when you go outside and you're not with the people who are your safety net that's hard um, I've been having a much easier time <clears throat> on my Instagram community because a lot of you guys have been sending me private messages. They are regarding my books, um, but some of them are about these videos and stuff. And you guys have been helping me, you know, spread my little introvert petals and soak up more sunshine. So I thank you for that. A tip for anyone who, I'll try to zoom in to show you this, who wants to do a little winged liner. And by the way, I've mentioned these eye paints. They're just really fun and fantastic. This is an actual paintbrush. I use this brand a lot when I oil paint. You can see that I've cut it down because it, I just like to cut things down and kind of custom make it for the paint uh, for what I have to paint. So I'm used to cutting brushes. This was like $3 at my local Michaels. Um, sometimes you can go there and you can get brushes for eyeshadow, blush, and foundation. They're a lot cheaper than going to Sephora or even the drugstore. So check out your local craft store. Obviously, and I feel like I have to say this because people are ridiculous sometimes, don't mix the brushes you're using when you physically paint with your makeup. This is a paintbrush I got that is just for my eyeshadow. So um, just a little hint that sometimes you can find stuff that's unconventional and not meant to be used that way, but you can actually use it for um, applying makeup. So I'm going to try to wrap this up. I don't always wear mascara. I rarely do because every time I was putting it on, it was really irritating me the next day. This is Lash Class by Lash Clash by YSL, um, a makeup artist that I love to watch because she's in Paris um, and she just shows, you know, all the Paris sites sometimes when she's walking and it makes me feel like I'm there. She used this and she said how it was really good for sensitive eyes um, and I bought it and I have to say it does not irritate my eyes at all 
Um, so I do try to use this when I have to. I'm just gonna go in with a little lip liner and you know that got me thinking of other authors that I can turn to them <clears throat> who write specific genres and I'm never let down. One of those because I dived into that really crazy polluted world of dark romance. Um, Rihanna Kent and I hope I'm saying her name right. I just started my voice just started going out again from this cold. Um, so anyways I feel like I can always turn to her books and they're very dark in the sense that the characters are extremely psychologically messed up. So if you've never read a dark romance before, I definitely would not start with her books, but I will do a video on them. I feel like she is another author on that is on my favorite list, which is absolutely shocking when you read her books, but her characters have these really dark, twisted stories. And sometimes it's like you don't just want like a happy romance. And that's what I love about T.L. Swan's books. They're not just happy. The characters, like from the start of the first page to the last, their growth has changed tremendously. They've changed, developed, and evolved as a person. And that's what makes a good book. So if you like something darker, um, Ronakin's characters, they change um, somewhat. I don't know if they they certainly don't like change to become the heroes they're still crazy and dark um but sometimes you just want to read something that is crazy it's like why people watch you know like a murder mystery or you watch like a, a scary show on tv you want something that's different and shocking so i'll do a video on her because i want to stick to you know the topic at hand um which also i'm gonna go in this was a new lipstick i got at the sephora sale it is charlotte tilbury it's called karina's star i've swatched it before i think speaking of everyday makeup it's good to have like a semi neutral lipstick that's a warm tone and cool tone um obviously this is a warm tone it looks very orange but it's similar to my lip color but just a little more saturated i think that if you're building your little makeup box it's good to have a neutral color that is warmer and also a pinker color that way you can play up what color palette you want for that day okay you guys so this is kind of my normal everyday makeup and to be completely honest with you it usually only takes me five to ten minutes and that's utter honesty um i'm not the type of person and i'm not judging you if you are i think you probably have the most amazing patience in the world i can't sit down for like an hour and do my makeup and probably some of that is because i'm used to painting portraits so much that i can just kind of throw stuff on really fast i've got to throw it on fast and i've got to be as we grow as a team um um, I'll get some bookish advice from you guys about what books you're reading and if you want to let me know if I should give anything a try hopefully we'll learn each other's um, book genre and trope styles that we like. Also um, someone commented on my Instagram and it was a video idea and they asked me to do a fantasy red lip and I already have imagined what it would look like so I'm gonna try to film that um, one day soon. So if you guys have any other ideas that you want to see, books you want me to cover, um, or makeup and beauty products, I probably already have them because as I said, you know, I'm able to not paint as much now that I have the baby because oil painting takes a lot of time. I mix up all my colors. By the time I mix them up, that's over half an hour. And then I like to paint for a few hours and that's like, you know, a timeline that I just can rarely find nowadays. So I've turned to makeup because that gets me the same satisfaction as painting. So my makeup collection has grown. So if you want to see products, I might already have them and hopefully we can sit down take a moment to breathe from the day and talk about books and makeup bye